Hey there techies! Are you ready for a hilarious journey through the history of one of the most iconic tech companies out there? I'm talking about Nokia. It all started back in 1865, when Nokia was just a small paper mill in Finland. But this little company had big dreams. And before long it was branching out into all sorts of other industries like electricity generation and rubber production. Finally, in the 1960s, Nokia made its big debut in the world of telecommunications with the launch of its first car phone, the Mobira Senator. Growth in the Mobile Industry Fast forward to the 1980s and 1990s, and Nokia is killing it in the mobile phone market. The company is cranking out popular and innovative phones left and right, like the Nokia 1011, the first phone to use the GSM standard, which is the most widely used mobile phone standard in the world. The success of the Nokia 1011 helped to establish Nokia as a leader in the mobile phone market and set the stage for the company's future success in the industry. However, it is important to note that the Nokia 1011 was just one of many successful and innovative phones released by Nokia during this time period. And the company's overall success was due to a combination of factors. In fact, by the late 1990s, Nokia is the biggest mobile phone manufacturer on the planet. It's safe to say that this company has come a long way from its humble beginnings as a paper mill. Decline and Acquisition But alas, all good things must come to an end. In the early 2010s, Nokia starts to hit some rough patches as new competitors enter the market and things start to change. The company makes a few missteps, including its decision to use the Symbian operating system in its smartphones rather than Android, and finds itself in a tough spot. Nokia's market share and profitability decline, and the company finds itself in a difficult position. In an effort to turn things around, Nokia's phone business is acquired by Microsoft in 2013. This was a controversial move as many people were loyal to the Nokia brand and were uncertain about what the acquisition would mean for the future of the company. Present State Today, Nokia is still a major player in the telecom industry, but it's also branching out into all sorts of other cool areas like network infrastructure, cloud solutions, and the Internet of Things. And if that wasn't enough, Nokia is also making a splash in the virtual reality and digital health markets. But let's not forget about the classic phones that put Nokia on the map in the first place. The Nokia 3310, with its legendary durability and long battery life, was a huge hit for the company and helped contribute to its overall growth and solidify its position as a leader in the mobile phone market. It was also affordable which made it accessible to a wide range of consumers. As we've seen, Nokia has come a long way since its humble beginnings as a paper mill in Finland. From its early involvement in telecommunications to its current focus on network infrastructure, cloud solutions, and the Internet of Things, Nokia has always managed to adapt and evolve with, the, with a strong reputation for quality and reliability and a loyal customer base that values its products and services, Nokia is well positioned to continue thriving in the future. Who knows what exciting new technologies and innovations the company will come up with next? We'll just have to wait and see. See. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed